Hey guys, this is Artsy Wisdom. My name is Diane. Thank you for coming by. We have been, if I don't have anything more to do, we have been um, putting in new flooring upstairs. So if I turn you ever so slightly that way, I mean, you can see a little handle of our wood cutter there. So I've been working hard on replacing carpet. Dogs. Dogs and carpet do not go along, don't do well together. So today, I had a couple questions from viewers and I hope you enjoyed my past life regression demystified video I just put up today it's I just want people to be relaxed it's not a big deal uh, and it helps so much and that's the bottom line so if you're interested have any more questions just let me know uh, besides that I'm going to talk about um, just quickly into Eric Adams the mayor of New York City and he got he pled not guilty today also, the polls, they're shifting. Times they are a-changing. Um, somebody had asked me about robo-taxis, which is a Tesla, and it's Elon Musk, and I've done a couple videos recently about Elon Musk. And then somebody asked if I believed in twin flames. And I'm going to talk about polls. So it's going to be a mixed bag today. But first, just let's send out positive healing energy to... All those in the path of Hurricane Helene. Um, I think last month I saw, which I thought was that first hurricane that was just passed through, but now I think it's this one because it went right in that area that I imagined north of the Gulf of Mexico. But luckily it's moving quick. But still, I know there's many dead people, unfortunately. Um, it's just weather. It's been changing climate. But let's say a prayer and positive energetic wave of love towards the people there that they might have all that they need professional food water whatever it is they get what they need and they get safe and get out of harm's way and even as it moves up the Atlantic coast or through Virginia's and Carolina's and that ugh, so hard anyway First thing I was going to talk to you about is the robo taxis. I guess they're being launched and unveiled in Abu Dhabi, and they are a Tesla product. And they're I think they have strong AI, artificial intelligence, to keep them going. Now they're supposed to be launching in October 10th here in the states, and Elon Musk is I think looking for a ton of people to come to this event. I think they postponed it from August. Till, because there were some things to work on and he wanted to add some really cool um, tools on it or some sort of probably some shiny things that he feels like would make people want to buy it more. So I'm going to pull some cards on the Robo Taxi. Now they have autonomous cards all over um, and they don't have them in US or China yet but this is what he's looking to start and I, I think I've mentioned this. I know I've mentioned that his brain works differently than everybody else's and it's not necessarily connected to his human self. So he's got this kind of autistic kind of um, and I don't all love goes out to autistic people. It's not that but the way his brain works is different. So he's got an obsession and he focuses and he creates it and that's where he's at. And he also likes money. And he, um, I, I read today too in the um, on Twitter he reposts like so many misleading or false claims on X. He really focuses on politics. A lot of them are the ones that get retweeted. So there's a huge, vast misinformation campaign, and he's promoting it. A lot of it is false. Some of it's true, but a lot of it. And actually, the most popular things he, he um, posts about are... So we got the two of cups. I'm going to start there. Robo taxi and Elon Musk. And that's where I, so he is, uh, this, uh, this is the love card romance. Um, having that person, having your person, whether in business or romance, but I see him, this heart on there is very important. And I think this is the two parts of him. This is what this is where I told you, I feel like he has two sides of him. He's got his brainiac side and his intelligence and then the other human sensitive emotion side. And there's like a space between. It's kind of like this two cups. There's like a space between. But 
Let me pull some Robo Taxis and Abu Dhabi. I feel fine about it. I don't have any big, oh my God. But I do feel like it's on at very early stages. Yeah, I feel like it's on the early stages and there's a lot of kinks to work out. But in the past, I've asked about him and taking money for Twitter. And I think he didn't get money from Russia, but he does have conversations about them. But with Asia or Middle East, he's helping with technology. That's what I said before. He's giving, he, they're doing this technology interplay or he's selling them information that they're using because he feels, you know, he can. And that's the feeling. And this is part of that. I guess maybe I already tuned into Tesla and the robo taxis. Ace of Swords. So beginning, thoughts, unemotional, inspiration, taking charge, doing what you need to do. Yes. So it's old, early stages everywhere. Um, so in the States, it's a different animal here in the States. Um, there they want to get rid of a lot of the climate problems or they're going to put their efforts into it. That's what I read. That's why they're investing in this. But we're a little bit more capitalistic here and so there's a lot of companies that might re might resist him doing this robo taxi here just i can't think of anything but robocop when i think of robo taxi didn't end well for robocop but anyway for many of the people so here in the states we got people working together commissions um, projects creative things to make money um, working together so that tells me there are people here that want to invest, invest, and he's really, really wanting people to invest because he needs that influx of cash. So he wants to have the launch. It's very important for this event to launch in October that he can get that money and put in mind of Trump and his coins and his cards and his shoes and his pictures and his whatever it is, his stakes and his ties. It's like that. I, I don't, I know it's not the same, but that's, I'm putting in mind of that. Okay. So this one needs to come out. So the star. So people are going to look to this and see all the possibilities. So I think it's such a creative out, it's such a creative idea. They're going to find that there's all kinds of really unique, special ideas, not just the actual vehicle itself, but all the um, tangentially rising up items that or businesses that can come from it temperance so there's gonna to have to be a balance I can see now people there might be a big pendulum with shift where you go let's put everything into it like AI everything needs to go into that and I think there's gonna be need to be a balance and starting over a lot of risks a lot of um, risk taking well people invest in this yes um, let me just I don't know how to explain this. It's a vision I have where it's, he's got the idea, Robo Taxi, it's here. And there's a space and all these people want to get on. It feels real good, but there needs to be an, is it an adjustment? It's not a negative thing. It's more of like, okay, this is the thing we want to make. And we have these people or this money, maybe it's the money and they want to connect those, but there's a missing link. <clears throat> that may have to do with, financing or safety or something I'm not sure but it does feel positive these are going to go ahead and you know I saw him making these um, vehicles that would travel oh my gosh maybe that's it I saw these vehicles that would travel on I thought they would travel on rails but they were like individual pods kind of thing where they would go all over maybe those aren't in, in existence yet maybe they're just in his head <laughs> um all right so robo taxis I would say I would invest if I were you, if you'd, you know, have a couple bucks. Don't do a lot, but I think Tesla might do all right there. I think it's going to increase his, his uh, portfolio. All right, the world. So um, I just pulled this when I looked at Tesla and I was looking at I, the world. Yeah, so that just tells me it's, it's going to go all over. There are going to be different versions all over the world. Uh, twin Flames. Twin flames. Somebody asked me if I believe in twin flames. Now, people can have soul mates. Twin flames is another word for it. And you can have multiple soul mates. Like in my last video, I talked about spirit family or soul family. And, and many of those people 
change depending on your life you're in. You might be a woman, you might be a man, it might be a child, a mother, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You have this deep connection that you've had from millennia that your souls are connected to learn to grow from. And that helps, they eat, you help each other either through negative situations or positive or whatever it is in your life to release karma. The patterns get repeated and then you, you are able to release karma. Now, sometimes you've had negative karma and you meet a person who is in your soul family and you happen to be too, maybe in a relationship in this life and it feels like a twin flame. It feels like a soulmate because you know each other. You know that, um, you know how you can just look at somebody and go, we're friends. We've always been friends, you know, and it's easy and flows good. And some, and this person is your person. And I think we tend to think of twin flames as in romance uh, relationships, romantic relationships, but sometimes it's mother child relationships or sister relationships. Those can be twin flames. Um, I mean, I guess somebody could think of flame as being hot love, you know, kind of thing. But I look at it. That's my personal experience. Soulmate, twin flame are people that have experienced some past, past lives together. Not necessarily releasing karma now, but they are working together in this life. Maybe they've got a lot of good karma in the bank and now they can relax and enjoy each other's life. Um, it's very intense and it's... Uh, an amazing feeling if, if you meet somebody that is in that, that feels like that. It's just, I tend to think that unless you're really in another relationship, I'd like to explore that relationship. I think the twin flame relationship, because there might be some really interesting connection that you can share that is, has so much depth to it. So I do think twin flames are real, to answer the person's question. Um, I just think of them as this connection you've had from many, many lives, and this happens to be a, a life most likely is a romantic life. Um, sometimes it's a soulmate. That's the same kind of idea. Twin flames, I think that word comes up for a romantic. Anyway, I'm kind of all over the place. Sorry. <laughs> And this is Ten of Cups. So this is a lovely card. So that's the feeling. Yeah, it's like everything is satisfied emotionally. You've got your family and it's the height of emotional satisfaction. That just happened to be on the bottom. Uh, okay. Um, okay, so I looked. Oh, and just quickly, Eric Adams pleaded not guilty today in his bribery and other indictment or uh, charges that he had. When I first saw him, just side note. On, I think he came on Morning Joe when he won the election for mayor. I was really excited because he seemed structured and a good administrator and solid. And he seemed like he wanted to really do what the city needed in, in New York. And do I think he's, I'm disappointed because this is just me. Please don't take offense. But I feel like. Either women, people of color, minorities, when they are in trouble, they do bad things. I feel like, not that he has done this for sure, it's only a, an alleged crime. But when he does bad thing, I think it, it gives everybody of that group a bad name. And I just feel like it gives them fuel, other people fuel, racist fuel, misogynist fuel, that kind of stuff. And I don't just... What are you going to do? It means everybody's people and everybody has a chance to but free will. They can make make um, mistakes. and But it's just me. I guess I want everybody to do well and be good. It doesn't always work that way regardless of your race, sex, nationality, whatever. Anyway, uh, I do feel he initially, and I'm, I'm sure there's corruption everywhere. Chicago's a super corrupt city. Growing up there, I remember Richard Daly, the old Richard Daly. Uh, and you remember, well, if you don't, back in the day, you know, Al Capone, all the mobsters. There was a lot of money. A lot of, with the um, prohibition and gangs and 
It was a lot. So big cities have a hard time, you know, not getting corrupt. King of Wands. Somebody wants to be the king. Somebody wants to be in charge. Somebody needs to get the, you know, smoke blown up there. You know what? So I think when you initially start, you may have all the good intentions. I think anybody has the ability to get corrupt. Anybody. You see somebody else doing a little bit here. You take a little corner off this, a little corner off that. And before you know it, it gets bigger and bigger. And they're just going to give you this and everything can be covered. And it's not an issue. I just think in that environment, it's really easy. It's so easy to fall down that little bit of rabbit hole. I... It reminds me of Justice Clarence Thomas a little bit, taking all those gifts, but this is a little different. I feel it is accurate for the most part, Eric Adams, and I know he said the Justice Department's going after him because he's spoken against certain things. So he's doing a Trump card. He's pulling a Trump card. You know, it's not me. They're going after me. I'm the victim. And my sense is that he's done most of what they're charging him with. He doesn't want to resign. He doesn't want to step aside. But he will because he won't be able to get any work done. Plus, his administration has several people resigning or being placed somewhere else or nobody trusts. There's a lot of mistrust. Yeah, so I think he is going to go somewhere. He's going to, he's going to resign or at least temporarily take a leave of absence until the court case is settled and he'll use it as a, um, a uh, you know, he'll say that until it's done, I can't work very well, people don't trust, so I'm just going to let somebody else take the reins for a while and then I'll come back when I get, you know, found innocent for all these charges, exonerated. So then I got the six of wands. So I think he does feel like he is not wrong I think he thinks he's not wrong hmm Ace of Pentacles well oh, this one needs to come out justice there we go justice justice will be done five of wands so I think in the time he's going to run up to a lot of walls. There's going to be a lot of challenges and eight of swords. Yeah. Some sadness, some difficult nights, worry, anxiety. I think the more time passes, he'll accept it, but I have the ace of pentacles. And so I think he might get some support or some money. Why? Some security, some He's going to plan things. He'll have a organized, because I think he was in the police department, so he's kind of got a structured person, personality. So I think he'll, he'll, he'll say he didn't do it. But six of pentacles and nine of cups. But, oh, that's actually a wish card. Oh. I'm asking if somebody may are setting him up. So I think he did do some things, but there's somebody that I feel like has set him up to make it look worse. And I feel like it's from the outside and that's not in his administration necessarily. Um, I feel like it's somebody from like maybe Turkey or another country that wants to make him get him out of the picture but I think he did do some things for sure but because they sort of I don't know if it's blackmail or what but it feels like they forced him to do other things to keep quiet in a way I think that's what's happened all right time will tell and then polls today it looks like Harris was in the lead in the general national poll by seven points polls are very notoriously up and down, but um, in October 1st, which is in just a few days, Walls and Vance are going to have that debate. And I feel like that is really going to make a big difference for those men, white men, 
black men, men of color, young men, older men, I think they're going to, a portion are going to like him. You still, I think some people will still pick Vance because he's whatever he is, tough guy or smart guy. But I think Walls is very smart and endearing and uh, down to earth. And he doesn't, his ego, I know he has an ego because he's an Aries, but I feel like his ego isn't in the forefront. It pushes him, but it's not, he doesn't lead with it, you know? So I feel like people appreciate that. Those people on the farms and all over the, you know, in the rural areas that would have voted for Trump who feels like he's their voice, I feel like they can see themselves in walls, which is going to be good. So the polls are going to continue to pull Harris's way. Uh, I keep checking in on the election. And uh, I had said yesterday or the other day when I did my video that I didn't see Georgia going for Harris, actually. I saw it leading towards Trump. And I had a viewer comment said that Sterling, who I love, had said that um, Harris wins Georgia and another state, I forget, North Carolina or South Carolina. And I still feel Trump is today. It doesn't mean he's going to lose and win the whole election. I just feel that state. But as I told that person, time will tell. You know, free will is a thing. Uh, it could be that the energy there, it just the energy feels more Trumpian. Um, and in the past, I thought she would win. I thought it because Biden won before. But as of today, that's what I see. You know, that's what comes in my mind. Anyway, take care, guys. Till next time, we'll get our other floor done. And uh, hopefully this mess. Oh, yeah, there's the drill and all this stuff. So I can see all our secrets here. <laughs> all right, you guys. Till next time. Thank you again for coming by.